So the second stream for the loons and goons of Red Moon June is Old Ninja Olympics, um, which was last night. They uh, streamed live from Premier Lanes in uh, New Baltimore, Michigan. It looks like uh, there was a pretty healthy amount of juggalos up in there. It does not look like Premier Lanes in New Baltimore stopped their festivities for the evening, though, as I heard a bunch of twangy guitar music in the background, and I could see other patrons bowling in the background as well. The stream started late at 9.44. Kind of understandable. They had a lot more going on for this stream, uh, playing games and whatnot, uh, setting up more cameras. I noticed a remote camera. So round one was bowling. Violent J brought his son JJ along with him. JJ was competing uh, as a fourth uh, team. Uh, the teams were supposed to be Jump Steady, uh, Shaggy Two Dope, and Violent J respectively, but JJ, uh, Violent JJ joined the fun. JJ's grown up, by the way, man. He's uh, he's becoming a man, a young man, if you will. And uh, yeah, he's rocking the fresh uh, Malenko jersey with the matching shoes. I saw you, JJ. You were fucking styling out there, man. So round one, bowling. Uh, after a few music videos, they uh, came back and started bowling. Really thought this was going to be dull, but kind of was entertained the entire time by watching bowling. Jeff the ref was in attendance, uh, refereeing all these events that I'm about to talk about. Uh, Shaggy was bowling with his left hand because his uh, right arm uh, was broken, which I guess it's not actually broken. He disconnected a tendon. It's not quite as bad as it looked on the video, but God, that looked like he broke his wing to me. Jay was arguing with uh, Jeff the ref about stepping over the line multiple times. That was rather entertaining. At one point, Jay said to JJ, JJ, Uncle Rob's trying to trick you. Jay was giving himself a motivational speech at one point right before he was going to bowl. He was uh, just saying impressiveness, freshness, impressiveness, freshness, <laughs> impressive freshness over and over again. And then he was kind of like holding the bowling ball and like talking shit to it. That Violent Jay, very funny man. Like I said, the bowling alley was operating perfectly as normal. And Jackie at one point said, uh, why am I watching a commercial while I'm bowling? Because there was, you know, just TVs playing all along the score screen there. It was, you know, a bowling game. Jump Steady came in first place. Shaggy Two Dope second place. JJ third place. And Violent J fourth place. I think there was something going on with Shaggy's score. Shaggy kept uh, freaking out about the uh, scoreboard. Uh, I couldn't quite figure out what was going on exactly with Shaggy's score, but a glitch or something, his score kept changing on him right after he would bowl so i don't know if maybe jump steady kind of got the win on a glitch jump steady got the win nonetheless and then they took another break and came back for round two which was pig uh a version of the basketball game horse but with some wicked clown style rules i think this i think they said this was a game that they used to play back in the day so basically you know like horse you uh are trying to shoot a shot uh and make it and make the other person shoot the exact same shot and make it. If they don't make the shot that you made, they get a letter. P, um, if you get the P, P is for panties on, <laughs> apparently. This is their rules. Then you get the PI, if you miss the second shot, and that means you're a private investigator, apparently. You're undercover. You're an undercover cop. <laughs> and then, <laughs> obviously, if you get the PIG, you're a full-fledged pig and you're out of the game. This was pretty fun to watch. Uh, these guys are not good at basketball, though. Uh, mad air balls. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it, was, it was entertaining <laughs> to watch them miss mad shots. Um, they kept talking about uh, getting the soup warmed up in regards to, um, I guess, saucing it up on the court, if you will. Serving up soup, that's what they kept saying. They had a couple of specialty shots that they were trying out. Violent J had a shot called the stunner shot, which was sort of a uh, bounce shot into the uh, basket. He also had the Vita Guerrera shot. Because she was so hot, it just gave you karma. There was a girl that kept heckling Violent J, kept calling him really sexy. And at one point, she was stupid loud on the microphone. You could hear her being like, you're so sexy. And Violent J was just like, stop heckling me. She was heckling the entire time. So JJ got knocked out first. Violent J got knocked out shortly after. And then it was Shaggy versus Jump Steady for quite a while. <laughs> Going back and forth, missing shots, missing shots, missing shots. Eventually, Jump Steady did make a shot. Shaggy was trying this, uh, this tricky behind the back joint that apparently... Uh, gets a lot of people out when uh when they are playing at one point jump steady said 
why am I so nervous as he kept missing shots? And Shaggy very quickly said, because you're a baby chicken. When Jay was eliminated, he went over to JJ and uh, kind of commiserated with him and said something about, uh, we've never been good at basketball or, or something like that. Um, Jay's a really good dad, man. Jay's, uh, you can tell Jay's very supportive of his kids. Then after another commercial break, they came back for round three, pool. This had some weird rules. I, apparently this was a cutthroat pool, um, a style that I've never heard of before, but I don't play pool very often, if ever. So basically, they divided the balls out so that Violent J's balls wore one through three, Shaggy Two Dopes wore four through six, Jump Steadies were seven through nine, and JJ's were 10 through 12. The idea is to hit the opponent's balls and knock them into the hole, and once your balls are gone, you're gone. Uh, if you accidentally hit one of your balls, it's you skip a turn. That was the, uh, the extent of the rules. So this was a pretty quick game. Shaggy uh, botched the breakup and immediately uh, got warned by the ref, uh, Jeff the ref. Jay was very upset over this. Jay said he was doing mad calculations in his head. Don't have a lot of notes for that. JJ ended up winning. Uh, there was no gathering talk on this stream. So yeah, I guess we'll have to wait till Monday for that. Uh, Monday night will be the controversy head-on show. I'm sure they'll be talking a little bit of stuff about the Hoot Nanny show and uh, the gathering a little bit. Very curious to what controversies they're going to be talking about. In the preview for it on the Patreon site, they mentioned Daddy X from Cottonmouth Kings. It would be interesting to hear some of their thoughts on that situation. Also, they mentioned uh, King Crimson. If you've never seen the Dr. Phil episode that featured the Insane Clown Posse, I don't know if you can still find it on YouTube, but it's well worth trying to track down if you can find it. I think this will probably end up being more like the shoot interview, perhaps, where they're, you know, they kind of dealt with some stuff they don't always talk about on the shoot interview from uh, October last year. I mentioned a second ago the Chicken Hunting Hoot Nanny Hoedown Show. They did announce that the tickets will be on sale and they announced a location for it, which is indeed in West Virginia. So yeah, I'm planning on going. Tickets for that will be on sale tomorrow as well at 6 p.m. It's an outdoor venue, so I think it'll be kind of like a mini gathering. If some juggalos are on the East Coast that maybe don't want to do the full gathering experience but want a little bit of taste of the magic, consider coming to the Chicken Hunting Hoedown Show. Um, you can get a coin, a Juggalo coin. Ooh, that should be fun. Can't wait to uh, see the clowns again. Can't wait to hang with you jugs again. That's about it. Expect another recap, review video of the controversy show that happens Monday. If you have any recommendations of uh, things you would like to hear me talk about or do a video about, please leave them in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, share, um, tell a friend in person. The good old fashioned word of mouth. Maybe make some flyers and start flyering parking lots again like the good old days of the inner city posse. Have a good Sunday. I'm gonna go edit this video and make some weird rap music myself. Peace.